Hello and welcome to another video from the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's video is going to be part one in a series of hints to you about a mystery that no one has understood for at least 2,000 years. Well, a very small select group of people do understand the solution to this mystery and I'm really hoping you're not watching. But in any case, uh, when I started this channel, it was to try to find people that thought like me. Because out here in the world, I'm the crazy guy. No friends, nobody to talk to, nobody to really associate with at all. And when I do associate with people, they always walk off with a puzzled look. So the first few videos I made kind of look like conspiracy theorist videos. Of, you know, hid my face, uh, changed my voice all that kind of stuff and I talked about things shadowy things that no one's supposed to know about and then to draw other people in I made a few videos about how to plant a fruit tree or how to get more eggs out of your chickens and it worked I've got a lot of subscribers now and there's things that I've always known but I never was able to find anybody else that knew them and so I've been hoping to run into people like that and I haven't yet but I've, I have run into quite a few people that have come back and said, wow, you're, you're really teaching me a lot. That makes me feel good. Now, I am gonna, here's a secret that I'm gonna reveal to you right now for a fact, and I guess it's kinda easy to say this because most people know it's, it's not true. 2012 isn't gonna be the end of the world. And I'll tell you why. In the Bible it says, that in the last days your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. So we are in the last days, but if that was really going on in a significant way, it wouldn't be on the networks, it wouldn't be in the newspapers, but you can believe it would be on the internet. It would be just about all that was on the internet and that's not happening yet. It says in the Bible that knowledge will abound in the last days. And guess what? Knowledge isn't abounding, but it's trickling. Knowledge is trickling, and that is significant because we've had 2,000 years of no knowledge whatsoever, and now it's trickling. And I expect it's gonna increase and increase and increase until it can be said that knowledge abounds. But this, is, this may be a beginning. What I'm about to tell you 10 years from now will be considered historic. So, like I say, if you're, if you're the first person to view this, you might want to type that in the comments. I'm the first. And then again, you may not. But uh, in any case, uh, here's what, we're going to go ahead and talk about this here mystery. Ta -da! Do you know what that is? You probably think you do. Because this, this seems to pop up a lot on conspiracy theorists' web pages. This represents supposedly a conspiracy by a small group of very powerful men to destroy our economy. That is so, so far. You, you're gonna, this is gonna be a surprise. You're gonna love the surprise when I tell you what this is. But I'm not gonna tell you on this video. I'm just gonna give you hints so you can tell me what it is. All right, here's your hints. First hint. And this is from the secular world. If you do research, you'll find these hints. First hint, we are told by the U.S. Department of Monopoly money that this actually represents the foundations of democracy. And it, look, here's the reason I mentioned Monopoly money. I had to get this out of my, my wife's wallet because I ain't got no $1 bills. And I know this is on low quality, so you ain't even going to know what that is. Well, you know what it is. It's a dollar bill. You know there's a little pyramid with an eyeball on it. At least that's what we're told. It's not a pyramid. It's not an eyeball. But anyways, that's your first hint. That's from the empire. Second hint from the empire. This is the all-seeing eye of God. And in fact, if you want to do some research on the internet, that might be the thing to type in. All-seeing eye of God. He sees everything. And uh, let's see, what was that third one? The third one was this eyeball represents the uh, illumination that the human family gets from God. The enlightenment. Enlightenment. Illumination. Knowledge. Knowledge from God. 
Okay, now those three hints came from the empire. Now I'm going to give you a hint from God. This is from the Bible. The empire lies. They don't always lie. They mix a little lie with a little truth. The truth is out there because they know you're going to know some truth. So they're not going to reveal a truth you don't know, but they'll reveal a truth you know and mix it with a lie. That gives credibility to the lie. So when it says, this is the eye that we get from God that enlightens us, that's a truth. It's a truth mixed with a lie. This is the eye of God. Once again, it's a truth mixed with a lie. And this is the foundation of democracy. Once again, it's the truth mixed with a lie. So that's a hint from the other side. Hint number two, and uh, this is a big one. The eye is mentioned in the Bible, and the eye is specifically about this. The eye that's mentioned in the Bible is about this, and it's not in a good way. That's hint number two from outside the empire. Hint number three from outside the empire. This picture you've been looking at all your life is not oriented properly. The pyramid is not oriented properly. The eye is not oriented properly, but the little ball inside, I guess you could say it is oriented properly because it's round. No matter how you turn it, it's still round. Now here's the reason this is so important. I'm going to have to reveal something that's to you that's going to destroy my credibility. I believe in the flood. Just me. Just what? Can't help it. You know, I'm not smart like a lot of people. But I do. I believe in the flood. And I was watching a show once as a child. And I always wondered why there are pyramids all over the world. And I was real smart as a kid. And they had a documentary about the pyramids where they said the reason you see pyramids all over the world isn't because they're related to one another. It's simply there like that because before the uh, invention of uh, steel I-beam construction, the only way you could build something big was to build it fat at the bottom and skinny at the top because all of that weight has to be supported. And, and that's actually that's kind of true because uh, in brick buildings where they don't have any I beams, steel I beam construction, the walls at the bottom might be 12 feet thick while the walls at the top are only one foot thick. So there, are some, there was some credible information there. But as an adult, I saw another video that showed pictures of pyramids found all over the world. This picture appears all over the world on rocks. And the rocks were carved over six, you know, over 4,000 years ago. And since the flood was 4,000 years ago, that would make these pictures that are popping up all over the planet pre-flood pictures. Now, you can say that you have to build pyramids a certain way so that they can support themselves, but why would you have an eyeball on a pyramid all over the world? How is it that everybody on the planet just came up with the idea to carve eyeballs on pyramids? So this is important. This is significant. How did this come from the world 6,000 years ago and never go away to this day? Why is it that this is the symbol of every government on the planet for 6,000 years? It's a mystery. You're going to be so happy with yourself if you discover the answer. Now. If you know, if you know in your heart that you know what this is, you're sure of you, that you know what this is, please don't post that in the comment section. Send me a PM. That's a private message. I really need to talk to you. Um, but also, I have revealed what this is to a couple of people. And uh, in case anything should happen to me, like I accidentally commit suicide by shooting myself in the back of the head with a high-powered rifle, you guys have to tell people what this is, continue this series. And in fact, I've already spoken to one of the guys, and, he's, and when I asked him if he'd be willing to take a high-powered rifle bullet to the back of the head, he said, 
That actually sounds exciting. So I know I got the right guy for this job. Anyway, if you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. Love ya.